everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and it's finally here. This is the Jet Black iPhone 7 Plus. This thing is seriously like a unicorn out in the wild. I ordered this on pre-order day within the first two minutes, and it had already said that this wouldn't ship until, what, September 26th to October 3rd or whatever. So today is the 22nd. I did get it early, earlier than projected anyway. And I have not yet seen the Jet Black iPhone 7 Plus at all, anywhere. Not in any Apple stores that I've looked at so far, just the regular one. And I was happy to see that I made the right choice in getting this one. I am very, very aware that this is very fingerprinty and that it scratches easily, but it's not slippery. The iPhone 7 Plus I have right now is the gold one, and I also played around with the black one, the matte black one, and I just found them to be just too slippery to me. So we're just gonna see how it goes. I don't know how badly this is going to scratch. I really don't want to baby it. I want to use it in all practicality, putting it in and out of my pocket. Truly see what happens to it. Just out in the wild, real field tests. We'll see how terribly this scratches. Obviously, I'm not going to run it across a table, and I will be careful. But I do want to see for you guys how this is going to last. So let's go ahead and take this screen protector bit off. And I want to get up close and personal and try to show you up close how shiny this is. So already, I have to get it all fingerprinty. Let's let's just do it. I'm not gonna baby it. Just it's fine. Seriously. So first impression in the hand is that this feels like it's not going to slip. I like that. So it's not going to slip. It's not going to fall. Very very slippery. Where this just sits in my hand really nicely. And yes, it gets all fingerprinty, but so does glass. I've been playing around a lot with the Galaxy Note 7, Galaxy S7 Edge, and those all have very fingerprinty surfaces. I've gotten over that. I do not recommend this for the anal retentive or obsessive compulsive. So I have thoroughly inspected this, and I have found just the tiniest little scratch pretty much right out of the box. Might have been my fault because I just rubbed it against my shirt. But right out of the box, within just two minutes of playing with it, yeah, you can already see a little scuff. I'm not panicking. So let's just look around the phone here. You can see that even around the bezels, all around this thing is the same material that we have here on the back. So this truly is this glossy black all throughout. And even where you see these antenna bands, they blend absolutely perfectly. I'm sure they're also plastic but they are just so hard to see except we're in the perfect lighting circumstance. So this really looks like one continuous black body design and that is quite attractive. I'm gonna to try to take it into some other lighting so you can see better. All right, so here we are in just a little bit different lighting. So you can see how that band wraps around there at the bottom, very, very subtle and extremely and incredibly glossy phone. This gives you a bit of an up close of the finish here towards the top. So this is very, very pretty. I like it, really I do. So let's go ahead and turn it on though. That's kind of the whole point of an unboxing, right? One continuous black slab. Oh, and in case some of you are wondering, yes, I am hearing that hissing noise. When I run a benchmark, for example, and I hold this up to my ear, I can hear it kind of whining worrying a little bit. Unless it's completely quiet, I don't think I would really notice though. The only thing is that I noticed when I did a camera test, you can check out that video, there's a link in the description I'll put for the video where I did a camera test, is I could hear some interference noise. I think those are probably actually two different problems. But the baseline noise of the video doesn't sound too nice. You guys can go and check that out for yourself. So before I set this up, let's just look around the rest of the phone. You see you've got the switch here. Wow, everything really blends in really well. It's almost hard to see those buttons. You can see the volume buttons. There's the antenna band here. Of course, you see the dual lens camera here, microphone, and also your dual tone quad LED flash. Here is your power button. You have your SIM tray. Some were saying that the SIM tray doesn't sit exactly flush. Is that exactly flush? Eh, it's, it's good enough. Here we have our home button. We've got our speaker and our microphone and also the charging port. Please excuse the water noise. Someone decided to take a bath right as I was doing this and I don't have too much daylight left. 
Anyway, I just set this up and the first thing I notice, of course, because I notice these things is that the white point is a little bit different, a little bit more greenish. I actually like the white point a bit better on this one here. So it just tells me that, of course, as always, there's variations. And I did listen to this as I've been setting it up. You know, the processor has to work extra hard. And I can hear the hissing, same, same on both of them. So this seems to be a thing. Not overly annoying, but it is there. So here we have it. You guys, please, you must let me know what you think about how this looks. Ooh, there you go. That's a perfect angle where you can see all those nice smudgy fingerprints. If I start seeing this really scratch up really easily, I'm, of course I'm going to come on and make another video just to show you how this is aging over time. And this is going to be my review unit. I purchased these though, both of these. I'm not upset with my decision though, because this is really quite slippery for me. And because I'm not someone who loves cases, I will use them if I have to, but I certainly don't prefer them. So I don't want to be at risk of dropping it. And I feel like this one is going to be the least susceptible to being dropped. So if you guys have any questions, please ask them. This has been Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be back with you soon. Also, don't forget to check the link in the description to watch the 4K video test that I did already. Let me know what you think and have a good night.